it is an autonomous information security certification uh, governed by ISC Square. Uh, it is read as ISC Square. Uh, uh, it's a lengthy one. We have to mm -hmm. invest time both in studying and at the examination too. So, okay. uh, which professional people uh, require CISSP? If I have, say, uh, a lot of experience, five plus to be specific in the IT domain, in the IT security domain, then I am eligible for uh, CESSP examination. It would mm -hmm. cover the architecture design, management and controls for the uh, business security of any uh, institute, of any company. It was first credit. It was first creden credential in the field of information to meet the stringent requirements of ISO IEC. Uh, in the very starting, uh, when there were attacks on companies, uh, the very famous attacks of 90s and 2000, uh, the ISC2, uh, EC Council and ISC2, EC Council started their own platform building on uh, security and CIS, IISC2 on the other hand started building its uh, platform to secure the data of these companies and mm -hmm. to secure that data both in physically and cyber form. They started the cert certifications like CISSA, CISSP. Mm -hmm. what, what is the benefits of CISSP to professionals? First of all, whatever knowledge we have in uh, information security it helps us to demonstrate mm -hmm. it again uh, okay. CSP is these kind of certifications is not for everyone and everybody uh, uh, it is uh, a keen interest in the field is required say there are people which are certified but again when, when there is no enthusiasm there is no interest then uh, eventually they will it, it will just keep uh, increasing a burden or load uh, the work which you don't enjoy it will just add up to your load or stress mm -hmm. so CASP offers a career differentiator with enhanced credibility and marketability when you when you are when you say that you are CASP you are viewed in a different lane in a different manner CASP mm -hmm provides exclusive benefits of annual valuable resources uh, if you're say you you are an audit company or you are a consultancy then uh, the market value uh, of your profile is increased many folds uh, okay. say in big big four specifically uh, higher CISSP just to show their uh, bench of CISSP professionals they have okay CSSP indicates uh, that certified information security professionals earn, earn a worldwide average of 25% more than their non-certified counterparts. Uh, mm -hmm. We do have professionals uh, with same working, uh, uh, same working on their resume, but the CSSP uh, certification is absent. So what what is the difference between these two? The CSSP certified person increases to uh, uh, earns 25 percent more than their counterparts okay all right uh, so there are some mandates uh, government and non-government organization mandates uh, public and private both these certifications help in uh, fulfilling those ma mandates both in uh, government and non-government organizations <laughs> Now that uh, that was the benefits to employees. What are the benefits to employers? Why do they want to hire CHSP? Mm -hmm. Again, uh, as I as as I said earlier, uh, if it increases the credibility of the employee if, of the individual, it also results in increased credibility of the employer. Uh, the example I gave was the big four companies. They have their bench of employees that shows their strength of infosec uh, to the outer world they are big for for some reason 
uh, it offers an increased credibility and goodwill for the organization when working with vendors and contractors there's mm -hmm. a part in uh, there's a domain uh, where called risk management or vendor risk management so it is a part of CHSP uh, it offers an increased credibility and goodwill for the organization when working with vendors and contractors when one vendors and contractors work with your CHSP engineers uh, it increases the employers credibility and goodwill CHSP mm -hmm. employer em, em, empowers the employees with a universal language say uh, it it is standard as we as we know already uh, the same standard implies here in India in US in UK and other world so uh, CSSP uh -huh. have some standard guidelines which are globally same it okay. validates the organization commitment and years of experience gained in the industry say uh, uh, we know that uh, in the start uh, in the start, we discussed that CHSP requires a minimum 5% 5 years of ex IT experience. So uh, whenever you say CA you are CHSP, that shows that you already have 5 plus experience in the IT industry. Right, right, right. right. So it's a, it's a certification for your experience also. It, right. it justifies that you have 5 plus years of experience in IT industry. It validates the organization's commitments. Uh, again, years of experience plus your organization commitment that your organization has uh, invested some time to get a person with such experience and such certification. It requires mm -hmm. the continuing professional education or CPE credits to ensure that CSSP professionals improve their skills. Okay. Uh, now, uh, if we have a CASSP with us and right. he is he is working in in uh, the industry the IT uh, world is ever changing the requirements and the learnings are changing every day so mm -hmm. uh, this is same with the case of CASSP CASSP okay. uh, upgrades their syllabus upgrades their curriculum every th three years so mm -hmm. uh, e even if I have my certification with me uh, I can renew my certification every three years. I can uh, jump to the other uh, next level, uh, mm -hmm. which which is the same with all other certifications too. CASSP okay. satisfies certification mandate requirements of the organization when de dealing with service provider or subcontractors. Uh, mm -hmm. When when a particular uh, company deals with the service providers or subcontractors the CSSP certificate certification men uh, show them that we have the required resources with us to fulfill their requirements and for mutual uh, mutual growth so what are the CSSP domains first is security and risk management this domain includes the fundamentals of security governance compliance regulations professional ethics and this is most so sought after security uh, CASSP domain. This is the most sorted after security domain, security and risk management. Next mm -hmm. is asset, asset security. Asset security is uh, uh, to look after in, uh, the employees' physical and cyber uh, data handling, uh, uh, or anything is assigned to them. Is it used? properly or ethically that covered that comes under asset security it includes handling collection and protection of information throughout its life cycle includes uh, say if a, an employee joins our company uh, he has a laptop he has i card everything that is assigned by the company its employees plus company's duty to uh, have it safe throughout the life cycle it is being used now some of the forms is again i card is the uh, duty of the employee to keep it safe and for the laptop the physically security lies with the employee but the security of its content of its data it lies with the company and therefore they have to build their 
uh, IT security so strong that no phishing or uh, manipulation attacks can uh, steal the data from the, from those systems. Mm -hmm. Security engineering. This domain discuss the concept of secure design principles, security models, evaluation models. Uh, R and D uh, is being covered in security engineer engineering. Here we use physical and uh, cryptography and security architecture evaluation models to keep upgrading the security of the firm. Mm -hmm. Communication, communications and network security is again a very vast and a good domain under CISSP. Here, mm -hmm. here we have uh, we are liable for the security of the network, which is both uh, external and internal network. A large number of attacks generally uh, in targets the company's infrastructure, may it be cloud or physical domain. So uh, this domain focuses on the communication and network security, that your communication is not altered, the company's stake is not altered, and the network is twin, uh, up and reliable 24-7. Mm -hmm. okay. Identity and access management. Again, a very uh, great uh, CSSP domain. Uh, in short, it is called IAM, Identity and Access Management. Mm -hmm. It includes both physical and uh, logical access control, identification, authentication, identity service. Here, we, uh, if we talk about the cyberspace, uh, IAM covers the active directories and rules to a single person, provided to a single person by any organization they they should shouldn't get into wrong hands by any means uh, mm -hmm. and and the physical identity the physical identity your ein number your uh, employee code that should be conserved from any uh, illegitimate access <laughs> security assessment and testing this domain focuses on security control uh, as you are in mobile security te testing uh, mm -hmm. the, you co you cover this domain security assessment and uh, testing domain focuses on security control assessment and testing testing strategies testing reports and internal and third party audits uh, it kind of uh, goes parallel with the QA domain also okay. we have some we have some testing strategies we have we have to show the reports what what cases we run we what cases we go through and uh, th those are the internal audits what we did for our own uh, say uh, what we have in place and what we did to find flaws mm -hmm. the third party audits are we know the flaws uh, but since we have uh, we have this product in place we might not familiar we might not be familiar with some of the uh, loopholes so we hire a third party and they audit uh, and they audit the same for us then we compare mm -hmm. our report with their report if we miss something uh, this third party audits can be uh, say one time audit to get us mm -hmm. to get us aware of any misses or if uh, or uh, we have an ever changing product requirements then these are like every month bi-weekly third party audits. There are uh, bi-weekly or monthly third party audits based upon the upgradation of your product. Got it. Security operations. This domain discusses uh, investigation, monitoring and logging, resource provisioning, security provisioning. Uh, this covers the SOC operations. Mm -hmm. uh, here we have an uh, IPS, IDS rules uh, checking the incoming outgoing traffic the rules which the uh, firewalls are checking the rules which uh, the devices the tools like Splunk QRadar uh, they are monitoring for any intrusion and uh, de detecting and reporting the same to us to the SOC members so that is covered under security operations software mm -hmm. development security uh, this is again uh, if uh, someone is preparing any product, any software, that software's security or uh, development life cycle is covered under software development security domain. Now, mm -hmm. what is the format of CISSP domain? 
The CISSP examination consists of 250 multiple choice questions with four choices each. Each only 225 questions are graded, while 25 are used for research purposes. Okay. These 25 per these 25 questions check your approach to the scenarios which are provided to you. CISSP okay. is 80% scenario and 20% okay. what you study theory. Okay. Okay. There are there may be scenario based questions which may have more than one multiple question associated associated with it. This is the tough toughest part. Drag mm -hmm. and drop and hot and hotspot questions will be there as well. Mm -hmm. uh, the scenario based questions in scenario based questions uh, since it is multiple choice you will have uh, the wrong answers to uh, they would be so convincing that uh, a number of CSSP aspirants get their self trapped in these questions because the wrong questions the wrong uh, points here are also very convincing that they okay. match the correct answers in one form of the other mm -hmm. there is no penalty for incorrect questions so candidates should not leave any question un unanswered if you have 250 questions you have to answer 250 questions since there is no negative uh, marking till yet mm -hmm. it can change but it is not there yet the passing grade required is 700 out of possible 1000 points on the grading scale and that is, that would not be a major issue if we have prepared ourselves for this examination okay. exam duration is six hours as i said earlier lengthy okay. examination lengthy preparation uh, please note that there will be no lunch break again uh, no lunch break would be there but Again, whatever break you will take, that will be deducted from your allotted time. Okay. Examination results will be based only on the scored questions of the examination. There are several versions of the examination. Versions again, uh, versions depend upon the domains you choose. Each okay. candidate has an equal opportunity to pass the examination. Mm -hmm. CASSP pre-request obtain the required experience of five years full-time IT professional security professional in two or more of the ten domains of the ISC square CISSP the domains we discussed yet common body of knowledge or CBK four years of direct full-time professional security work experience in two or more of the ten domains of the CISSP if you have more than two then this requirements drop to four okay. four years in case mm -hmm. of no experience the candidates can become associate uh, means first they have to pass CASSA and then they have to secure the CASSP exam. Okay. So, okay, uh, who are consultants or managers, IT directors, managers, security auditors, architects, security system engineers, CASOs, Network Architects. Hmm. Now, uh, till now, you are able to de define CHSSP. You know what are the CHSSP domains. Mm -hmm. You can explain the importance of CHSSP both at employer and employee end. You can explain various requirements of CHSSP examination and you can describe the CSSP exam.